So in this video, I'm going to be combining traditional and digital art. The supplies I'll be using is an iPad, an Apple Pencil, a Strathmore recycled sketch paper, sketch pad, and um, pens and a 4H pencil. So basically what we're going to be doing is drawing something on a pad of paper and putting it into an app called Procreate on the iPad and coloring it in with all of the nice features that um, Procreate has. Um, so here we go. The first step is to figure out what you're going to draw. I decided to draw a tree, but um, this process will probably work for pretty much anything that you want. So here I'm just sketching it out. The second step is to line it over in pen so that you have that contrast between the paper and uh, what you've drawn. That'll make things way easier when you're uh, putting it in the uh, Procreate. Now that you've drawn your tree in ink, you can take the picture. And the most important thing here is you want there to be even lighting. You don't want there to be any shadows or it to be in a dark area. So make sure you have good light. Another tip is don't take it from a weird angle or just make sure it's completely flat and you're taking the picture from directly above because if you uh, take it with like either something in a way or if the angle just isn't right it can make the whole thing look warped and weird so just be careful with that okay now that we've taken our picture we can go in and edit it so for this we just want to crop it to the right uh, size and um, straighten it out so it's not crooked at all this can be a bit tedious. Okay, so that looks good. Now I'll go in to this and adjust the light. Okay, so now it looks like it's pretty much uh, all black and white. So we can just press done. And then we'll be ready to um, put it into Procreate, which is the next step. Okay, so now that we have um, the picture taken and it's all edited, we can go and Procreate and make a new project. I'm going to do 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. Um, that looks good. All right, 
So now that we have our new project, we can go in and uh, add the picture. Um, but first I'm gonna, it already has a layer. So I'll make a new layer and I'll name this one um, line art. So this layer is going to be for the um, what we just drew right here. So this is going to go in the line art layer right there. Now I can just press this uh, tool thing and uh, insert a photo. I can go in my photos library and choose that one. Now I can resize it to however I want however large I want so um and also I can turn it like this um let me see how big do I want this tree that might be good I think I make it might make it a little bit bigger yeah I think that is just about right Okay, so right now, I'm going to put this layer underneath the line art layer. The line art layer, we're going to be making a bunch of new layers, uh, but, uh, just so you know. So, this line art layer has to stay at the top uh, for the whole time. So it can be uh, like the top thing. Everything else is going to be like underneath this. But right now, if you see, I can just get my... Um, uh, brush out and just sort of um, do some stuff and you can see it's not coming out it's not doing anything behind the tree and we want to do that so if you just keep going like this it'll only be on where the tree in the picture that we took of the original paper um, is so what we have to do is make it so the white on this is transparent. So how you do that is you select the line art um, layer, click that little N, and switch it to multiply. So here you can see, now you can uh, see what we drew underneath uh, this tree. So you can go in and we're gonna be um, drawing and... Um, Oh, whoops, I did that on the wrong layer. I have to go back to the um, this layer to draw. So do not draw, I made a mistake there. So don't draw on this line art thing. That is supposed to be just, leave it alone, okay? So this, this can just, this is uh, like sort of a test layer, but uh, we're gonna make layers for like the background, the bark, and different clumps of, um, of leaves. Okay, so I'm back with my charger because I haven't charged my iPad in days. <laughs> okay, so a few things that are not as easy as they may seem is, uh, layers are, can be a bit confusing and also making gradients. Those are some things I'm going to be using uh, while I'm making this picture. So the first thing I guess I'll show you is layers. Layers are uh, a big part of this kind of stuff because there's so many uh, things you can do. So I'm just going to clear this so we can start out fresh. All right, so I think I'm going to go with some yellowish orangey colors for this. Let me select my brush. All right, so now I'm gonna select my color. So for this, I'm gonna go with some uh, warmer colors. Um, okay, so a helpful thing is you can make color palettes. So uh, here I'm gonna add that this color to my color palette you can go back and um you can see there's a new color palette here and if i select a different color then this will be in the color palette as well 
You can also delete colors uh, and of course add them back again. If you want another color that is not like that, you can replace it. Um, but I think I want to go with that color I had before. Okay, that looks good. All right, um, maybe just a little different. Uh, okay. Okay, so here I'm gonna show you how to make gradients. Um, you can see in my color palette, I have two different colors. Those will be the two um, things I'll be using for the gradient. Okay, so uh, I have uh, layer two and then I'll add a layer. Um, you do not wanna mess with the line art layer. Just just don't mess with that one. It will get messed up if you try to draw on it. Um, so just use the layers that are under it. Okay, so now you just want to cover this whole layer in uh, that color. And then on layer two, um, I'll make that one disappear for a minute. Select your different color. Make sure you're on the right uh, layer, and then uh, color that all in with your other color. Okay, so now I've covered this layer with that color, and I'll go in and um, make that one not be disappeared anymore. So just click one of the layers, and then click this sort of arrow icon. That can allow you to crop your um your layer so now that one is on the bottom but I will bring it up now I can combine these down I'm going to um, click on this one and then um, press uh, merge down so now the, this layer is all one layer. Now I will go into this thing, it's like a stick with some sparkles, like a wand. And then I will choose Gaussian Blur. And then you can see that is the gradient and you can see how, um, how much of a gradient you want. So I can just make it be not much of a gradient or um, a very, gradual gradient so uh yeah gaussian blur is the thing you do to do that and so yeah that's how you make a gradient okay now i'm going to show you how to use layers so here we'll go in and add a layer and we'll pu put it underneath uh layer three and i will rename that one uh gradient Rename. And then I'll name layer three, tree. Okay, so on, uh, on layer three, we can choose a new color for whatever we want the tree to be. I think I'll go with a more orangey look. I'll add that to my color palette. And now I will just make the, the whole thing be uh, that. So you can't see it because it's underneath this gradient layer, but if we disappear the gradient layer, you can see that that color is underneath. So here is where uh, whatever will probably take the longest time. So you get your um, eraser out. Let me get a better brush. And now you can go in and erase. Oh, oops, wrong layer. Um, you can go in and erase the gradient layer. 
and you can see the layer underneath is showing is showing through so i can just go and um make this whole tree be uh brown but i'm not going to do that right now but that is basically some of the basics of what you will need to know for uh how to make this tree so now i'm gonna go in depth and uh just make the tree and use a lot of layers and all that you can just watch and enjoy
And here's the finished product. I really like how it turned out. And now that I've experimented with it more, I'll probably use this method of combining traditional and digital art more in the future. I hope you found this video entertaining or uh, useful in some way. And thanks for watching.